please give it up for Quota by James Hutchison. Lights on. What do these jump titles even mean? A human implementation response coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> integrated technological software such as Maximize. What the hell is Maximize? Ding dong! <laughs> yes? City Census! Has it been a year already? No, it's only been six months. We do this twice a year now. Well, there's some talk of doing them quarterly, even weekly. Seems a little excessive, don't you think? Yes, well, new mayor, new priorities. Now, should we get started? I do so want to get home and watch the season finale of God's Country. Oh, I'm <laughs> such a fan of you. A fan? No. You don't watch? Not really. Oh dear. You should. It's the one show that's required viewing, you know. Oh, I do miss the old days when an entire nation would watch a single programme and share in the experience. Nowadays you can hardly get anybody to watch anything. All this diversity is most troubling. Is it? What do you write down? Just the fact that you don't watch God's Country. No. It's part of the survey. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why not? Didn't you read the brochure we sent out at the beginning of the year? I didn't see any brochure. Well, it was a mailed out to everyone and at an enormous expense, might I add. Now, I thought you didn't read it. Ignorance is no excuse. I'm sorry, I didn't think it was that important. Well, all the information can be found online at civic census 20 35. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get started. I have a great many more homes to survey. Uh, sure. Just me, well, that means one, doesn't it? Well, we prefer to avoid confusion by stating the number of individuals living in a home. There can be no confusion if I ask you how many people live here and you answer one, two, three, can there? I don't understand how my saying just me is confusing. Were you ever spanked as a child? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? And were you ever spanked as a child? That's none of your business, and I don't see how that's relevant. It's part of the survey. <laughs> <laughs> Whether I get spanked as a child? Yes. The civic census is vital to determine not only the population of the city, but also the psychological character of each inhabitant. Psychological character? Yes. Well, I'm not answering, and it's none of your business. That is, of course, your right, Mr. Hmm. Dixon. However, I think it would be better if you did answer. A non-answer gets flagged. What do you mean, gets flagged? Well, if you had nothing to hide, you'd answer the question. I don't have anything to hide, and I'm not answering the question. Oh, you do seem to have a problem with authority. I don't have a problem with authority. What I have a problem with is this goddamn survey. Really? Yes. What are you writing down? I'm a trained behaviour therapist. <laughs> so? I make observations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
know, just little things like the tone of your voice and your body language. Mm. It's all necessary in case there's an investigation. <laughs> Listen, how do I know you're even from City Hall, huh? Show me some credentials. Of course. I am a human information technologist. A census taker. We don't use that term anymore. No. No! Listen, I'm not comfortable with the questions you're asking or the observations you're making. I see. What are you writing now? I'm just recording your refusal to participate in the survey. I'm not refusing, I just find your questions rather peculiar, that's all. Uh, these questions are designed to give us a further understanding of the citizens in our city. It's all part of the crime prevention programme implemented this year. What crime prevention programme? We sent out a brochure, didn't you read it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, the brochure explained everything. Well, well, maybe you can explain it to me. Mr Dixon, if I spend all my time explaining every civic policy to every house I go to, I never began. Now, are you going to tell me how many people live here? I just did. Just me. What? I'm the only one here. One person? Yes, just me. But that doesn't mean you're the only one that lives here. Yes, I'm the only one that lives here. So one? Yes, one, just me! <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been, or are you currently under, the care of a psychiatrist? <laughs> what the hell business is that of yours? It's part of the survey. <laughs> Mr Dixon. Don't you think your mental health is our concern? After all, would you want to live next to a psychopath? <laughs> no. Exactly. Don't you think it's our responsibility to step in and prevent a suicide if we can? Oh, the new mayor is very progressive. Yeah, I'm sure he is. I did vote for him. No. No. I'm sure the central office would like to know why you didn't vote for the mayor. What is the central office? It's the new name for the mayor's office. We were structured at the beginning of the year. We sent out a brochure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. All the information can be found online at city hall administrative realignment 20 35. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good evening, Mr. Dixon. Yes. Officer Carmichael, may I come in? Are you refusing to let me in your premises, Mr. Dixon? It's okay, Mr. Dixon. Officer Carmichael is here because of me. Because of you? Yeah. I call for backup. What have I told you? These things get flagged. Mm -hmm. What things? Just the things you answer or refuse to answer can reveal a great deal about you. Code three. Code three. Uh, what the hell is code three? That's none of your concern, Mr. Dixon. Should we complete the survey without any more resistance? Oh, I'm not resisting. <laughs> well, you're hardly being very cooperative, otherwise why would the police be here? Give me five minutes <laughs> I'll make you cooperate. That might be necessary, Mitch. You shouldn't call me Mitch on the job, Cathy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on a first name basis outside of the office, but these are office hours and we should respect our positions and our titles. Hey. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. Mr. Carmichael. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to get some answers? I will get you some answers. I can be very Who <laughs> 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 well, That won't be necessary. At least I hope it won't now, will it, Mr. Dixon? No, no, no. Um, listen, this seems a little um, draconian, don't you think? You see what I'm dealing with? Oh, he's a funny one, he is. How about give him a little nudge? Well, I had hoped this wouldn't be necessary, but I see no other way. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> hurts, doesn't it? That does right, hurts. What are you doing that for? Using persuasive measures. Any citizen that refuses to participate in the survey may be convinced to do so for the use of persuasive measures. It's all quite legal. Beating you with a rubber hose is legal. It's a standard code three response, everybody knows that. I can't believe you're permitted to do this. Well, at the moment, it's just a pilot programme on the west side. But if it goes well, 
The mayor plans to roll it out across the entire city. And eventually the country. <laughs> country? Our mayor is a very ambitious man. But a man of the people? Oh, very much a man of the people. He sees things as they are. We have to take action before things get worse. All right, all right. No, well, I want both of you out of here. This is my home and I've done nothing wrong and I, if I don't want to answer your goddamn survey, I don't have to. Are you refusing to complete the survey, Mr Dixon? Yeah, you're, you're goddamn right, I'm refusing to complete the survey. <laughs> that is, of course, well within your rights. However, we would then be well within our rights to place you, your property and all your possessions into protective custody. <laughs> protective custody? That's right. I've done anything wrong. Well, we'll be protecting you from yourself and being a danger to others. <laughs> but I'm not a danger to anybody. Well, you may see things that way, Mr Dixon. However, we see things rather differently at the central office. <laughs> it's all part of the new zero tolerance policy and since the mayor has implemented that policy, we've seen a remarkable reduction in crime, unemployment and unemployment. I had a terrific increase in the prison population and a 200% increase in convictions across all deviant categories. That's progress. You can't argue with results like that, can you, Mr Dixon? I've never even heard of this zero tolerance and deviation policy. You never read the brochure! I never thought the I don't know, but we bother. Waste of money as far as I can tell. All right, what do you want to do? Uh, yeah. I've changed my mind. We've been here far too long. I'm sorry, I've seen you on dumb. It's just having a bad day. You know how it is. I, I lost my job and my girlfriend on me. You know how it is. Um, sometimes you just have a, a streak of bad luck. You're unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for work. You wouldn't happen to have any leads, would you? <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't have a job. No. And you are volunteering this information to us freely? Um, I guess so. Why? What, what does it matter if I'm, I'm unemployed? Mr. Dixon, if you don't have a job, how are you going to pay your taxes? How are you going to contribute to society? You are a drain on the economy. I'll, I'll get another job. Oh, I don't know about that. Job market's pretty tight. How long have you been out of work? A couple of weeks. Oh dear. Are you right handed or left handed, Mr. Dixon? What's that going to do with anything? <laughs> Just answer the question, you hear me? You back to your class again and you'll wish all I was using was a rubber hose. Right handed or okay, right handed? Are you really? Yes, really! Catch! I thought so. <laughs> Listen, what does it matter if I'm, if I'm left handed or not? What's that got to do with anything? You really shouldn't lie to us, Mr. Dixon. You're confusing me. I don't know why I'm being treated like this. We're simply here to assess the situation, conduct our survey and recommend action. What kind of action? Corrective action. All society is based on codes of behaviour and when someone deviates from that code, there must be a way to handle the situation. Otherwise, curse would reign supreme and we don't want that now, do we? We want everything nice and tidy. All <laughs> oh, the socks in the sock drawer. <laughs> and the undies in the undie drawer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, free society is uh, based on, on protecting the rights of, of minorities and the individual. <laughs> <laughs> you are free to think that, of course, Mr. Dixon. However, you are currently unemployed. And left-handed, and those facts mean we have the authority to take action. What does me being left-handed got to do with me being unemployed? Do you know, Mr. Dixon? Left-handed people are far more likely to have an accident. <laughs> yes, I, I, I did know that. It's true. And do you know why? <coughs> because, because it's a right-handed world. That's correct. <laughs> So, the simplest solution is to segregate right-handed and left-handed people into separate communities. <laughs> Therefore, preventing accidents happening to people like you and making the world a safer place for people like us, you should probably issue a citation. I agree. 
Don't let these fingers get out of control now, do you?
since the mayor implemented his new physical health platform this morning. This <laughs> morning? Yeah, apparently the mayor had a brainstorm last night and after extensive talks with his shadow cabinet, he implemented his new physical health platform this morning. Why, what's wrong with sugar? It's part of the obesity problem. <laughs> and our mayor has promised to cut obesity rates by 80% in his first year in office. It's ridiculous. Let me tell you something, Mr. Dixon. Sugar is making children be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and high blood pressure every second because of dealers like you. I'm not a dealer! Oh, the evidence would seem to suggest otherwise, Mr. Dixon. <laughs> I'm very sorry, I'm going to have to run you in. For having a bag of sugar! The law is the law. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. A civic lawyer will be appointed. After all, you are unemployed, so getting you off the streets really is the best thing for you and for society. It's a win-win. I am not going to jail. I'm afraid sugar. you don't have much choice in the matter, Mr Dixon. I'm not going. Code 2. Definitely Code 2. Well, what the hell is Code 2? This is a Code 2. Oh, ah, Jesus! Clay! <laughs> now, are you going to come quietly or am I going to have to use force? That is a code to response option. I could have used a stun gun, you know, these new guns are a little bit iffy. The last one I stunned ended up in the morgue. Now, Mr. Dixon, the mayor only has your best interests at heart. If you come quietly and complete the survey, since this is your first offence, I'm sure you'll get no more than a year. And if you don't come quietly, I will personally guarantee you get at least ten. What are you doing, Mr. Dixon? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, put the stapler down, <laughs> Mr. Dixon. <laughs> I'm not going. You people are crazy. <laughs> We're not the one holding a stapler, Mr. Dixon. <laughs> Listen, can, can we just start over? Like, I know I should have kept up with my civic politics, but I didn't. I'm a, I'm a decent guy. I am hard working. I, I, I want a job. I, I want to contribute to society. Is there anything I can do to make you two reconsider? Well. Yeah, yes. You can name names. <laughs> name names. Well, I'm sure being left handed, you know, other left handed people. <laughs> you can point them out to us. You'll be doing them a favour. And in return, that bag of sugar could <gasps> simply disappear. <laughs> and you'd have a job. And you'd live. Oh, you wouldn't be in prison. Of course, you'd have to wear an armband. Oh, an armband? On your left arm. Just see you fit with your group. <laughs> Otherwise, they might suspect something. You'll be going undercover now. Doesn't that sound exciting? <laughs> but we look after you. Find you a nice place to live. Who knows? Maybe you'll even find yourself a new girlfriend. What do you mean, new place to live? Well, you can't live here. This is a right-handed neighbourhood. <laughs> well, what about my stuff? Well, get your new stuff. You won't be needing any of this anyway. We've got a nice camp set up where you'll feel right at home. <laughs> We're kicking me out of my apartment. Well, we've got several right-handed families just waiting for a home they can move into. After all, Mr. Dixon, you wouldn't want to live somewhere you're not wanted, would you? But this is my home. You just can't force me out. We're not forcing you out, Mr. Dixon. Just relocating you. I'll complain to the United Nations. Fuck! I'm sick of this guy! Here we are, bending over backwards, trying to work him out, and he's fixing our face. I reckon we should just finish him off. I'm calling the code one. Not so fast, Mitch. The guy bugs me, that's all. If you call the code one, we'll have to call the clean-up crew. We'll fill out a termination report. By the time we've done that, it'll be late. None of it's God's country. <laughs> You're just recording. I am recording it. And I want to watch it live. We're doing a musical tribute to our mayor. And I don't want to miss it. Listen to her, Mitch. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> I'm sorry for being uncooperative. You know, I don't want any trouble. Um, you, you just have to call a code one time. Hold on. Put the stapler down. 
and everything will be okay. And you'll name names. Uh, I'll name names. Sing it! Who said right-handed and left-handed people can't get along? All right, you try anything else, buddy. You end up in a body bag, you understand? Oh, come along then, Mr Dixon. We've got some paperwork to fill out, and then we'll drop you off at the internment camp, and you can begin your new life. You really should pay attention to what's going on around you, Mr Dixon. You should visit the Mayor's webpage and take a look at his master plan for bringing about peace, order and good government to his city. Lights off. Stacey Norris and Alex Dowdy. One more time, please, for quoted by James Hutchinson.